that we don't have it, but they're coming. We recently told you about Joby, a company creating an electrical electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's a very long title. Yes. I'm sorry about that, but they are one <laughs> step closer to commercial operations. Very good news for us in Ohio and a world anxiously awaiting the future of transportation. Can a single idea solve climate change, create jobs and ease roadway congestion? No, but Joby's air taxis could be a step in the right direction. Taking runway 29 shortly. Especially if that direction is straight up. So we describe an air taxi um, as a bit like an SUV. It's going to take five passengers, a pilot at the front and four passengers behind them. Uh, and it takes off vertically, a bit like a helicopter. That's Oliver Walker Jones with Joby. Talk a little bit about what's been going on in California. He joined me on a Zoom call from California, the company's headquarters, to talk about Joby's fully electric aircraft that operate with zero emissions and have zero need for a runway. So we've actually been flying full scale prototypes of our aircraft since 2017, and, and we've flown thousands of missions with them. But just recently, we started flying with a pilot on board the aircraft. It shows um, confidence in the technology and it allows us to really show consumers that this technology is much closer than most people think that it is. Technology that could have pilots and passengers traveling at 200 miles an hour to their destination with a range of 100 miles. All of them came out of the experience saying how, how incredibly um, fulfilling it was for them to be in a piece of technology like something nobody has ever really seen before. Joby wants to bring the air taxi technology commercial by 2025. They've partnered with Uber and say the service will run on a similar app-based platform with customers choosing their route and simply taking to the sky. But bringing the company to consumers means building hundreds of aircraft. What makes this aircraft so special is that it's all electric. And that's where Ohio comes in. Joby announced their first full-scale manufacturing facility in Dayton, alongside Governor Mike DeWine. This win for Ohio today is huge. And it's another example of the rebirth of prime aerospace manufacturing right here in the state of Ohio. The facility will sit on a 140-acre site at Dayton International Airport and deliver 500 aircraft per year. Oliver says they'll need close to 2,000 people to meet that goal. This will be requiring a lot of people um, who are involved in the manufacturing and assembly of aircraft understand um, electrics, mechanics, all sorts of roles that are associated with building aircraft. But there are also going to be roles that help us support those roles. So, for example, the first uh, hiring position that we have available right now is actually for a recruiter. So if you want to support Joby's mission and live in a world where Ubers and air taxis work side by side, Oliver says apply online and get ready for takeoff. Love it. Can't wait. As I said before, cannot <laughs> wait until these are here. But that's sort of the question mm -hmm. for you, Chris, because we know they'll be built here. Mm -hmm. But will we actually see them or are Initially, they going to see this first? Initially, they're not going to be flying here in our airspace. It was going to be some of the bigger cities that you would expect, mm -hmm. New York City, L.A., so we'll build them here. Where traffic's we'll really we'll bad. We'll try them other places, <laughs> and then eventually, hopefully, we'll see them in our area. But okay. again, the jobs, I think, is the most important thing huge, for people right huge. in our backyard. So I checked this morning. They have a couple more listed, even since I first did the story. Oh, great. So check them out. And 2,000 coming. It's a lot. It's be huge it's for lot. Southwest Ohio. Wonderful stuff.